Spence Lewis here, post race for InsideTrackNews.com with our sixth place finisher in APC United Late Model Series competition. Prime time, Josh Dottie. I mean, Josh, my man, you're on a roll these days, man. With limited late, pro late, everything just seems to be falling your way. I mean, a strong sixth place finish. I mean, an argument could be made to get a top five car today. Maybe just ran out of laps a little bit late in the going, but uh, sixth in a field of monsters like this is a good day at the racetrack. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of a lot of guys <clears throat> got together to make this possible. Uh, the car wasn't really the greatest from the start. It was a little loose off and uh, pushing through the center, but uh, you got 100 laps, so you just got to wheel it, you know? So uh, we, we were up, we were back, we were all over the place, and then uh, with nine laps ago, I think we were sitting ninth or 10th, and we came up and uh, passed for six, so. <laughs> I mean, when I walked over to the pit pad this afternoon, when you guys were getting ready for pre-qualifying tech, your dad, who is the most even keel, relaxed man I normally talk to at the speedway, looks at me and said, we're, we're terrible, it's awful, the, the car is horrible, and I, that's more emotion than I've seen out of him all year. So I'm like, well, this must be horrible. Then you come out and lay down a pretty good lap in time trials, then you have a top six run. So what was so bad about the car this morning that had you guys worried? We just couldn't, uh, the thing was pushing like a bastard through the one practice and we just could not get it figured out and I couldn't get any drive off the corner and it's actually the worst the car's been all year so I mean uh, for him it's frustration because with the two cars like getting the motor back for the other one uh, like we're putting a lot in so uh, we we expect a top five car when we come to the track we uh, we're putting the work into the car we're not coming here to run 12th we're not like even when I was a little disappointed in qualifying because I go to Peterborough and qualify fourth. I've raced that track twice. Delaware race once. I qualify seventh. I, ru I love running here and I like run here quite a bit. So I was expecting a good lap time and I just didn't make it happen. But uh, at the end of the day, the car's home in one piece and uh, all, all my guys. I mean, I was pretty busy this week and uh, I can I can't take any credit for what the car getting put together to come this weekend is. All my guys. They, we're in the shop every night and I couldn't be there, but uh, yeah, I gotta thank them. I gotta thank uh, Tire Master, one of my sponsors was here tonight and uh, to put on a performance in a field of 30 cars that come out and finish sixth with a car that's clean in one piece and their logo still on the side, uh, they're pretty happy about that. So uh, yeah, we're just plugging away. <laughs> now, is it was this really an instant today where, where maybe the car was better than, or the driver was better than the car then, when you really sort of worked your way through the field with a car that maybe shouldn't have been that, that far, that close to the front? I was wheeling it pretty bad, like, I don't know, it, it would have been, the car would have been perfect. The way it was running uh, in the feature, because it was an earlier feature, if it would have been a night race, we would have been bang on. It, the track would have tightened up and it would have actually, uh, for the drive off, would have worked in our benefit, but, uh, no, it's the car was terrible. It was, and I, I don't know. A lot of people look at it. Oh, it looked pretty good, but I, we're doing, we're not coming here to run with the car spinning coming off the corner. We're coming. We want to get up beside these guys and fucking pass them down the straightaway. That's what we're here to do. So. What do you think, Delaware Speedway? You get to the front? I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. I mean, you you ran through the gauntlet at Delaware last time. You you came home with a car that looked like it was, you know. I don't know what's the most polite way to you put it. Do it was do. used up, and you and you still managed. I think a seventh place finish. Seven. Seventh place finish. Nine, so nine ninth place finish. It's still a top ten finish. Your first time there. So are you going to be able to build on that for the Great Canadian? I think so. Like we're we're going to go down and test, and um, we're, we got a couple weeks here to put it together and scale it and really go over the car, which is nice. It's been busy these last few weeks, but uh, it's it's going to be nice to have a few uh, weeks to get it back together and scale it. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I like that track. Thank the sponsors that uh, they get you to all this, uh, all this crisscross in the province. Who yeah. makes it happen? Yeah, I gotta thank my my crew guys. I can't even name them all. There's so many. Like there's f 15 of us that show up. Like they're just unbelievable. I gotta thank them all uh, for putting up with me. I was under the weather today. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, were you? That's funny because you yeah, seemed I pretty was, good last I night. Not, I did nothing today for them, but uh, to come out and finish sixth for them that was good. I gotta thank my parents. They put up with my crap. <laughs> And uh, MEI Paven, APC Auto Parts, Upper Canada Title, Tire Master, Flow Enterprise, uh, Ken's Truck Painting, James Cable Fuels, Prax Air. Uh, that's just on the pro late alone. So uh, we got great marketing uh, support and uh, we can't thank them enough. Be proud of that performance today because you brought the show. Six-play finish, a great run for primetime Josh Toddy. We'll see you at Delaware.